So this is an old computer that I've had for the guts 10 years. Uh, when I first moved into this house, I was uh, taking a load of stuff to the local dump and I found about eight of these computers at the dump and I brought them all home. But since then, or back then, I parted them all out, uh, sold some bits, kept some bits of probably about half a dozen power supplies up in the attic, which I'll never use. But yeah, this is the only survivor from that lot and it has been through several cosmetic changes since then, but it's basically the same inside. So I was only, uh, I have been unable to find any info on this thing, searching online. It's made by RM, uh, and the only code that is on the back of it is a GM seven nine five so if you can find something some info on this by searching for that online uh leave it leave it in the description or the comments down below because i can't find a bloody thing so yeah this is sort of a pentium 3 era uh I, like i said i can find no info on this bloody thing so we may find a couple of date codes on some of the chips inside, but apart from that, uh, I'm really just guessing. So we'll have a single three and a half inch floppy here, and two disk drives. The top one is a DVD drive. I'm not sure if it's a burner or not. Yeah, it's a re-readable. Yeah, recordable it says. And as far as I remember, this is just a CD drive. There was absolutely no, yeah, it just says compact disc. So, uh, yeah. So this thing, I painted this thing about probably four or five years ago. Painted it white and put this wood grain on. But since then, as you can see, it has suffered from some overspray <laughs> uh, from other projects. So, yeah, it's quite a few spots and stuff on it. And... Really, I don't use this thing very often. The last time we used it was writing discs for the Dragon 32 computers. So that's probably four years ago. Uh, yeah, it was really good at that. So I have a dual boot uh, operating systems on this. I have Windows 98 and Windows XP on this. So around the back, I have... Uh, a genuine uh, Windows 98 second edition code. Feel free to steal that if you need it. <laughs> uh, yeah, PS2, uh, keyboard and mouse inputs. Uh, USB, I think it's USB 1. So super slow. Uh, printer and IOs. Parallel or whatever, I don't know the names of all them. I think that's a joystick port. And then your sound card. This has a in inbuilt uh, speaker in it. It's not a beeper, but it's, it's a proper speaker, which is what this wire does. It sends the output from the sound card through to the speaker. We we'll have a modem here. I think it's possibly a network card. I can't remember, and uh, a USB card which I put in it for USBs. I think or USB one as well. As you can see across this top brace here, I have a BIOS password <laughs> wrote on it, and it's uh, RM is the password, and then I have written a date here, painted 16th of July 2015, is when I done the, the front on it. So if I lift this brace out, it uh, brings the floppy drive with it too, and that will uh, give us access to look into the motherboard here. So I had to go handheld here, trying to get a better look in here. So it's a pretty neat little design. The motherboard in this is quite small. Uh, I'll get you the spec once we turn it on. I cannot remember. It's, uh, I'm only guessing, but I think it's at 800 megahertz 
Pentium or Celeron 3 and I think it has about 800 uh, megs of RAM if I remember right it's been a while since I've touched this thing it's just been sitting in the garage gathering dust and the motherboard's quite dusty on it just from sitting doing nothing so there's that uh, network card there or is it a modem I have no idea and that's the USB card there no idea if the battery's even any good in this it's been a while since that's been changed and yeah, not much else to say power supply tiny little thing I can't even remember oh there's the info there it is a it's a 90 watt <laughs> power supply so yeah tiny little thing I have a, a about half a dozen of those up in the loft so if this one ever blows I'd not be stuck hard drive and the two CD drives no idea what size the hard drive is again we'll see that once I turn it on okay so that's it all hooked up I have uh, an old Dell PC here which I was using so I'm just going to use the monitor for a minute uh, at this stage, I have no idea if this is even going to boot. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, we've got something. And no signal on the screen. Not a good sign. <laughs> Probably a BIOS battery dead on. Is my guess. No LED for the hard drive activity, so I'm guessing it didn't post. Okay, I've got it working. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the battery, I had to reseat the RAM and it booted straight up. So. Uh, and the XP if I remember right the Windows 98 installation doesn't have all the drivers at the time I couldn't find all the drivers for it but it, I got it installed and that's what I was using to mess about with the Dragon Discs this might take a while I'll uh, fast forward <laughs> the, the boot sequence Well, it's alive. As you can see, my lovely dragon wallpaper. <laughs> uh, no sound, I don't think. Don't know what's going on there. That's just from the internal speaker. I had the wire plugged in the wrong port on the back of it there. All right, so we have a few things installed here. I can't really get close enough because the camera's in the way. So I have a folder full of Dragon 32 stuff. Yep. Loads of stuff in there that I remember very little about because it was about four years ago. I have CPC, CPU Z, which will help us see the specs. Uh, flow image, that was an uh, imaging uh, program that I was using is an Atari ST file there so I must have been using it to burn discs for the Atari ST when I had that. Uh, Specky, I think that's another program that shows you the specs of the PC. 
So I have some games here. I have Command and Conquer Red Alert 2, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, Age of Empires 2, Main, Doom, House of the Dead, Nez Emulator and Quake 3 Arena. Awesome. Let's fire up Doom and see how, how she runs that. This is a parted version of Doom. Uh, yeah, so it has Doom 2, Final Doom, Final Doom TNT Evolution, and Ultimate Doom. We'll try Ultimate Doom. And, uh, software or hardware, OpenGL. Try software. This doesn't have a graphics card on it, it's just the onboard graphics it's using. So I'm guessing that's not going to be very good. <laughs> Keyboard only. Now, how do I shoot? <laughs> okay, so it does use the mouse. Okay. That runs really fast, nice. That's the sound turned up full on that, by the way. Okay, cool. Doom runs really well. Like I said, I haven't used this in about four years. So I don't really remember. So we'll have a look here, see if we can find the specs of the thing. So using that uh, Specky program, the Periform Specky it's called, there's some <coughs> specs on the computer. So it's uh, Intel Celeron. Copper mine, 512 megs of RAM, 150 gig hard drive, an Intel AC97 audio controller, uh, an Intel 82810 graphics controller, whatever that means. Um, okay, so RAM slot number one is unknown manufacturer, 256 megs, and RAM slot two is Kingston RAM, PC133. <laughs> well, that takes me back for what it was. Uh, let's see if there's a date, 1901 it says on the week and year, so 19th week of 2001 is when that stick of RAM was made. <coughs> Full specs on the CPU there. There is a date on the motherboard, 14th of the 3rd, 2001. So yeah, it's uh, 19 years old. <laughs> I'll have to have a little birthday party for it once it hits 20. <laughs> so yeah, that's really about it. Uh, 
this has mainly been used for writing floppy disks because it has a proper floppy drive in it which is connected to the motherboard uh, yeah so that's why I've hung on to it as well because you never know when it's going to come in handy writing uh, floppy disks for old computers like this I, uh, I ran Doom there or Quake a minute ago Quake 3 <laughs> And it was an absolute slideshow, so I will give you a quick look at that and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Quake 3 runs at uh, a frame every 4 seconds. <laughs> uh, I might be able to speed that up a bit in the setup, but I don't think there's much hope for it. <laughs>